Hello there, I'm AJ Puzzle First, and welcome back to X4 Foundations in the Cradle of Humanity expansion, where we have been poking around this station over here in the background, and these folks over here are not very pleased about it. They've started shooting up the other bunch of paranids over there, uh, as you can see, via all of the lasers. So, we need to get over there and see what cooks, because uh, obviously... One of these teams of, uh, of, of people shooting each other, we're probably supposed to be helping. So uh, let's go over there and attempt to help uh, one of the groups. I don't know, maybe. Which one's the prophet again? Oh, him. Okay, I can do that. Maybe. Let's get rid of the... Uh, the, the... There we go! Excellent. Well, it doesn't look like we have any um, any particular target in this this particular little Odysseus, war. Odysseus, Vanguard. Hi. I got an incoming call from Dal. What am happening? I supposed to do? This what wasn't part of the plan. Yeah. Ah, now they're the enemy. Okay, fine. Gorgon. Well, if they're the enemy now, I shall I shall destroy them. Wait a minute. Let's set our lasers to destroy. Uh, and then go over there and do exactly that. Wait a minute, actually, I think I think we stop. Um, I think we stop doing this soon. I think they changed their mind. Does he seriously want to die? <laughs> Let's give him a bit of space and see what happens. Yes. Your Turn back to normal. Into the charade. Fall one by one. Okay. Yes, we do, because I just realized I didn't need to shoot any of those. That was lucky, I nearly destroyed one. Uh huh. All right, so we're destroying the buccaneers. Which uh, fortuitous? These paranoid fellows seem to take their words quite literally. I suggest the new strategy, assistant. Let the bony stickler win. Okay. So destroy all them. Is this, is this what we're doing? You know, I really should read the quests. I really should read the quests. That's the way you do it, right? As soon as it loads up, you read the quest and everything goes according to plan. The choice is made and the battle lines are drawn. Protect your key. Uh, protect your key to victory and defeat your enemies to seize this opportunity for yourself. Dal Buster's Diplomacy and Economic pr Predictions. Okay, and that's the, uh, the, the thing. Support Krumankenslat. Letter the ne letting the negotiations continue will leave open the possibility of uh, future ceasefire or even a peace treaty. Yep. Okay. Reducing tensions between the two factions will allow them to focus their military attention uh, uh, elsewhere at first, uh, potentially lead to a decrease in hostilities. No. Uh, against other factions. Uh -uh. Or uh, as well. Interconnecting of the Paranid trade network will increase economic stability, while the demand for military equipment will likely decrease over time. So presumably I would start selling them other things rather than, um, than destructive ships. How many of these are there left? Is there only two left? Wow, okay, fine. So these are definitely the pirates. I hope so, because I'm about to start lasering them. Hmm. All right. There's quite a few of them by the way. Actually, listening to her, they really do have no concept of hyperbole. Right. Let's destroy this one. There's no way back now. Everyone's made their choice. We need to see this through. All right. Wait a minute. We we'll just start doing the laser thing. Yeah, and then yeah. Here we go. Bye. No more Duke's Buccaneering for you. <laughs> you are deceased. Next. There's a missile coming for me. That's bad. Sometimes they can be big and mean. And I really hope that they're not, because I don't want to go back. 
Go faster! Okay. What are you? What type of ship are you? Incoming missile. Yes, I realize there's missiles coming for me. They do like their missiles, that has to be said. Okay, you are dead. Minotaur. Next. Sentinel. Is there someone shooting the back of me? I think there is. Alright. Another one. Three min Minotaurs. I like the Minotaurs. They're okay. They're very, very slow. Very slow. But, uh, other than being exceptionally slow, which they really are exceptionally slow, uh, they're, they're alright for, uh, for things like carrying carrying a few Marines and, uh, and obviously carrying loads of missiles as well. Serious damage. Oh, that's the, uh, the Chimera. Would you just die quicker? You're making it difficult. Thank you. Go fast. This is why I picked this ship. Because you can go fast in this ship. Alright. Who's next? Defense drone. A defense drone? Oh, interesting. I didn't even know we had defense drones in this fight. Never mind. I don't Minotaur. want to shoot the defense Sentinel. drone. I want to shoot something big Minotaur. and decent. Sentinel. Right. Minotaur Sentinel will do. That is a nice target. Come on! I want to shoot the Minotaur Sentinel. With all its many, 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 many missiles. What? I'm not going to stop shooting you. You're dead. Knight, who's next? Minotaur Sentinel. Uh oh. That's a lot of missiles. Something's on my back shooting me, I can tell. It'll be a defense drone. It's probably no problem. The missiles might be a problem, though. Alright. Let's get this. We just need to make it so that the uh, the others can destroy the battleship or the destroyer. No problem. There'll be more help to come. Defense drones are easy. Look at how fast the defense drones go down. I wonder if these are the same defense drones that they were using before. The, the little rubbishy ones that go boom. Well, there's not many left. Defense drone. Hello, defense drone. Eep. Round in circles. I'm so glad that my uh, my turrets are better shots than me. <laughs> oh, there's a lot of defense drones. Defense drone. Yeah. I don't know how long it's going to be defense until those drone. those missiles go away. There's so many missiles. Hmm. Target defense something else, drone. please. Thank you. Alright. No defense drone. Defense Next! Drone. And you. Defense Next. Drone. All the way over there. Is that defense drone actually shooting me? How dare it! Uh oh. I don't want to be right next to the capital ship! <laughs> okay. And you are going! No. Yeah. There's a missile after it, that's good. Yeah. Let's go over there and destroy that because we're closer to it. Die, defense drone! Oh, you're dead. Okay, fair enough. Now we have one more left. One. And then. And then it's that thing. And it looks like we're probably one of the only ones left. There really isn't many things around here. Alright, let's have a look and see how it's doing. Has it lost most of its uh, everything? By now it must have shot most of its missiles at everything, so that's good. Hmm. Right. Now, as long as there's lot, like not 50 missiles going around, then I should be okay. But, if there is about 50 missiles going around, then that's not good. Uh, and I can't get right close to this thing and try to destroy it if there's about 50 missiles going around it. Ah, luckily I can see another another nemesis that wants destroying. Ooh, it's it's almost destroyed already. Come on, let's wipe out this nemesis. Bye, nemesis. Ooh, that's a lot of missiles. Just look at that. Wow, you are in trouble, mate. Just go real fast. Go real fast. Think real fast. Oh, look, look at the fireworks. Awesome. I never get to see this because I'm always running away from the missiles and they're always coming after me. So, yeah. Nice to see them go boom at uh, something else. Yeah. 
Alright. Now then. We have... A reasonable amount of ships around here now. And I think we're okay. I think we're not going to get to... I don't think we're going to get missiles. So, let's go like that. Pause. Oh, wait. Nope. There's one more defense drone. If we wipe out this defense drone, then we can go in with our Chimera. And wipe out everything on the ship. And leave it for them to destroy. After all, we don't need to destroy it. Although I suppose we would get a lot of rep for destroying it. Hmm. Hmm. There's potential in that. Okay. Uh, let's go into the Chimera. Teleport to the Chimera. Come on. Good. good. And then we'll get in here. You! Hello. Out of the way! Thank you. Uh, undock. Ooh. It's a bit weird not having the... Uh, not having the... Cockpit around. Helianthus. Hello there, Helianthus. I'm going to wipe out your everything useful. And then, there'll be nothing useful. Hmm, that'll be fun. Yeah. He there. Ooh, that's a lot of, a lot of death. Okay, wait a minute. Eep. We don't want to die. You go. You do want to die. It's a lie. That's why you're attacking everything, right? Danger. Mm, missiles everywhere. Cool. Okay, uh... Done. Now all I need to do is take out the engines. If I take out the engines, then they'll find it so much easier to destroy this ship because it won't be able to get anywhere. Nah, no running away for you. Your history. Where's my ship gone? Where has my ship gone? Has it decided to abandon me? No, it's just waiting there. Okay, that's fine. Right, uh, target. Yes. And go over there. Oh, it's 13 kilometers away. Quick! Go over there, quick! I don't want to be messing around. Right. And land. Come on. Locking granted. Yes, I want to see if I can get the last shots. It might not have much hull left by now. In fact, it's really not got much hold left at all, so... Yes, must do quicker. Quicker! Ah, oh, it's gonna die. It's gonna die! It's gonna die! Well, well before I get there. Okay, let's teleport into the uh, thingy again. Did that work? No, it didn't! I wasn't in time. Okay. I uh, have to find the, uh, the, the right place on the thing then instead. Right, teleport to. Done. So hopefully I should be going over there. Yes! Excellent. Oop, I teleported twice. I obviously did do it the first time. Ah, oh, they've done it, haven't they? I missed it! I missed it! A posing again. Hello. Hello. <laughs> okay, fine. Get out of my way! Can I help? Yes, you can get out of my way! Goodbye. Oh, you know, I blame you. <laughs> I missed it because I totally got there too late. But uh, I also missed it because he got in my way. That's Container. it. Blame him. That's the best way. They seem to be shooting other things now. Don't know what they're shooting. Anyway, we might be able to at least get a load of junk from this ship. So let's see if we can get a load of junk from this ship. Give me your junk. All of it. Hand it over. Yes. Excellent junk, thank you. Now then, what's he gonna say? What's all this? Asteroid. Asteroid? Hmm. Okay. It's just loads of empty asteroids around here. Asteroid. What's this? Unstable crystals. Hmm. I'll have them. Come over here! <laughs> Get into my inventory. I will sell you somewhere else. Potentially. If you'll if you'll just get into inventory? Anytime soon. Okay. Great. Eight unstable crystals. Brilliant. Now what? We've done the thing. Everyone's dead. Uh, talk to Dar Buster? Your friend. Trusted friend. Yes, Dar Buster. Oh, okay. So we need to teleport back to the... Um, to the thingy. He's not going to phone us. No. He's going to make us go all the way back to our, uh, our own base. That's what he's going to do. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, sure, now that we've got teleportation, it's not a problem. But, you know, 
It'd be nice if... Hang on, why does it say go to Pious Mists? I don't know. We're still supposed to be going here, I'm pretty sure of it. Entering system. Grand exchange. Right. Just wait for it to load in. It does take a little while sometimes. As soon as it does, I'll move. Oh, there we go. And let's go talk to Dal. What's he got to say for himself? Hey, Dal. I am overjoyed to have you back in one piece, assistant. Thank you. That's very nice of you. How's it going? Everything's fine. Civil war. It's a shame about all those lives lost. Yes. You still did the right thing back there. Thank you. As predicted, your choice has created a series of opportunities for us to influence the political landscape of the Gate Network to our liking. Awesome. Given enough time and effort, we might be able to push the Parodid step by step towards true and lasting peace. Yes. But first, feel free to lean back for a while and bask in the glory of your victory. Ah. Even Bozo would agree that you've earned it. Well, you Lovely. know where to find me once you're ready to spend your hard-earned credits. Oh, I see. When I want to spend my hard-earned credits, going? can I actually start this already? Ready to make a change? Oh, okay. Uh, exactly. What am I signing up for? Good question. Uh, go on. All right. Here's how it's going to work. I've taken the liberty of dividing our diplomatic effort into a few clear-cut steps. Each step will require serious investment and decisive action. Don't expect change to come at the push of a button. Rats. I'll always do my best to predict the political and economic outcome so that you can gauge whether it's worth your time and effort. Nah. Have a glance at your briefing and personal log whenever you're uncertain. Okay. I'll sneak in a few comments before and after each step is complete. Of course, once you're happy with the results, you can always pull back and leave the involved factions to their own devices. There's mm -hmm. no need to work through the entire process immediately, or even at all. Uh-huh. Okay, no, we've already done that one then. Uh, as ready as I'll Capital. ever be. Let's take a look at the current state of affairs. Great. Our friend Grimankenslad is now using Gride's final intervention as a precedent to unite the Paranid against supposedly mounting foreign aggression. If his little movement keeps growing, he might just be able to keep the Pontifices occupied enough to throttle their invasion plans. <laughs> his mediation fleet will certainly require a sizable escort to defend against dissidents and foreign saboteurs. Uh-huh. Ah, that's where we come in. Diplomatic escort. So actually, I need to make a load of ships, right? That's what they're going to ask for first. But they're not the only people who want a load of ships. The Terrans want a load of ships as well. Uh, and the Terrans are going to pay me handsomely for a load of ships. And I don't even have to make them properly. So uh, we should do the Terran one first. Because cash is always preferable to no cash. So, yes, we should make this fleet. Uh, and this fleet uh, is over at the Terran Dock place. So let's go over there. I did actually write down what this fleet was needing. So we need to buy ships from here. And we need a Tokyo. One of these. And it needs an engine. Yeah, I need to get the written down thing. Because otherwise I'll never be able to uh, know what I've, I'm getting. Okay, that's uh, the one for the Terran uh, Argon one. I write down them all because um, they're, they're always the same every time, so it's fine. It's, it's good. One Tokyo. Got it. And I need a all-around engine. So all-around Mark 1. Got it. Uh, shields. Um, oh, right. We need the, um, the, the all-around Mark 2 for these. Uh, and then we need the one shield. Uh, Edward, good. Uh, and then we need what do we need? Terran medium beam, Mark One. Beam, there. Is that the large? No, it isn't. There isn't a large. Interesting. They're all medium. How fascinating. Why wouldn't they have a large one on this ship? That's just a bit weird. Anyway, we want ten flares as well. But first, we need to put all of the usual adornments on there, and then ten flares. Give me ten flares. Right, ten. Nearly. There we go. And one pilot. Because they always want a pilot. <laughs> okay. Uh, so I think that's it for that. Yeah, I think that's it for that. So we should be alright with that one. Good. Order confirmed. And then we need to do the same thing. But we need a... Uh, we need a... Um, Osaka. Where is it? We can get that from here. It doesn't have to be at the other place. Why have we already got a thing there? 
Oh, that's the hostile takeover. Okay, that's something completely different. Just let's not get them mixed up. I don't want to take my Osaka over over there and then find it's not the Osaka. Uh, okay, so we need 50 laser towers. Oh, now I know that this is wrong. Uh, this is this probably needs more than what I've written down. But I'll go with that. I'll go with that. I'll go with one shield. I know I want one of those. Uh... Or do I want one of those? Actually, you know what? I don't think I do. I don't think I need any of those. Hmm. I might be wrong. I don't know. Anyway, we'll grab some of these, some of these, one of those, one of those. And we need 50 laser towers. Is it the MK2? It is the MK2. Ugh. Always the expensive one. Ugh. Okay, fine. There we go. The MK2 expensive laser towers. Ugh. And then, that's 12 million. Lovely. <laughs> okay, fine. I, st I still reckon I'm getting these wrong somehow. But there we go, 12 million. And then the uh, the last few things you can get from the same place. Well, this place, as in buy ship. Yes. I could do with buying more ship designs. I haven't got all of them yet. We've got uh, two folks to get from here. And these folks need to have a pulse laser. That's all that they have written. So we'll give them all of the worst stuff. And then we'll give them one pulse laser, laser which is Mark 1, I believe. Yep, Mark 1. Okay, so that's it. I could give them a pulse turret as well. Because I'm so generous like that. And all of the worst of those things. And then a captain. There we go. That'll do nicely. I need two of them. Two! There we go. Excellent. And now there's just one set more ships. Uh, the uh, Kirkri, which again from the same... No, I can't get them from the same dock, can I? I don't think I can get them from those. I think I have to get them from over here somewhere. Oh, that is the same dock. Oh, never mind. I can't get them from the same dock. Never mind that. All right, they're already building them. This is the uh, the advantage of not pausing it throughout, throughout the entire process. Sometimes. Hang on, how can they already be building it if I did pause it? Did I pause it? Who knows? Uh, oh, I can't pause it because I'm standing in the station, can I? Okay, so we'll get these. Uh, that. That. And again, they want the pulse laser. Yep, one pulse laser. Great. All of the worst of the stuffs. Uh, and then a pilot. Should do us grand. And there we have it. Now all we need is to get four of these. So let's get four. Four rubber ships ready. So hopefully uh, in the next episode I shall be able to have delivered those ships and have earned myself a stack of cash. And then we can consider the uh, the Paranid fleet that they want me to build for, um, for, uh, for this particular mission. Uh, which is going to be quite easy to make potentially. Unless they really want me to buy all of the expensive things on it. Oh, wow. Combat Mark III engines for all of these Ares. That's, I suppose that's not that too bad. 12 Nemesis. Good grief. This is pricey. Yes, this is one pricey fleet. Okay, got it. <laughs> we'll see the pricey fleet in the next episode. In the meanwhile, you take care. Thanks for watching. Feel free to watch other things on my channel. Feel free to subscribe if you haven't already. See you next time. Bye for now.